Hey guys, Alex Bennett from Magra Spray Drones. Uh, today we're gonna do a quick video on kinda the emergency landing procedures on the battery. You know, if the battery gets too low or low voltage or anything like that, what that emergency procedure looks like and how short of time um, you have to react to that situation. Basically, if the drone wants to go in an emergency landing, as long as the drone is not in an area where we don't have to basically um, kind of cancel that emergency landing to move it out of the way and then let it land, um, we suggest if it goes in emergency landing, let the drone land. Don't try to fly home because um, you'll see why. This drone right now is fully loaded with payload, a new battery. We're going to fly it out. We're going to basically, I'll fly it until it's about ready to run out of battery and then we'll show you the walkthrough of the emergency landing scenario. So this is very important for you guys. If the drone wants to emergency land, don't keep the drone flying. Get it to where it needs to be to land safely, but let the drone land. So looking at this screen, I just wanna show you how I set this up. Um, so my low battery voltage or percentage, I do have that cranked all the way down. I wanna make this the worst case scenario. So we have that cranked to a warning, 5%. We do have the voltage clear down to 46 with a warning. So basically I'm gonna let this drone stay in the air until it wants to emergency land. So we'll go ahead and take this drone off and get it in the air. Okay guys, so now we have basically on my remote, we're having low voltage warnings. I'm gonna keep it hovering even though I have a warning until it starts the emergency land. Um, once it starts the emergency land, I'm going to let it get a little closer to the ground just to be safe. But I'm going to go ahead and override the emergency land and show you how little of time on a full payload we have from when the drone wants to emergency land to when it actually wants to fall, basically the batteries die. So we're sitting about 30% right now battery. Um, now I have a battery uh, voltage and percentage alarm. We're going to go ahead and just keep letting it stay in the air. All right, so now we have basically 25% battery, but my voltage is low. I have an emergency landing sequence. So if I let go, see how the drone wants to come down? I'm going to go ahead and let the drone come down a little bit high, lower. But now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to override this now. Okay, so what you saw right there is I let the drone come down and then I gave it more stick input to basically stall that out. Um, the battery hit, once it hit about 8%, it didn't care. It went ahead and landed no matter what. Um, so the problem that we've had a few guys crash their drones in this emergency landing sequence, the biggest problem that we're seeing is they stall out the drone by giving it a altitude input and then they continue flying home. So if you're basically stalling your altitude and you're in a forward momentum, um, once it hits that certain percentage, it's gonna land no matter what. So as they're going forward, it hits that, and then basically the drone will automatically land as they go forward, and then they end up basically crashing the drone into whatever, the ground, anything like that. So we are gonna probably tweak the emergency landing procedures a little bit higher on the safer side, just to give you guys a few more, um, maybe another 30 seconds or something like that to get the drone on the ground. But the key takeaway of this is, if the drone goes into emergency landing, if you have to override it for any reason to make sure the drone is in a safe place, do that, but let the drone land itself. Don't try to bring it back home because more than likely you will crash the drone. So just to go back on our flight settings again, I went to battery. So right now we have our um, battery percentage. What we see here is from eight to 15% uh, voltage or percentage, it will force land, which is holding about true. We also say low, voltage force landing is 44.8. That is also true. So always make sure you're watching that. Um, I would recommend, you know, you guys are flying. I like to run my voltage at 47 volts. And then I also like to run my battery around that 30 to 35%. Um, it's up to you guys if it's a warning or return to home to be safe. I always try to leave that at return to home. We know you guys are going to have scenarios where it needs to be a warning and not return to home. But Tips and tricks, um, you know, just be cautious as you're flying. Make sure, you know, everyone's being safe. You're away from the drone in those type of situations. But the key takeaway to this is if the drone goes into emergency landing, let the drone get on the ground as fast as it can. 
or it will, if you wait too long and override it, it will crash. So I think that's about it. Thanks.